My name is Kwame uh, from African Activities. In this video, we are doing African stamps, Edinkra stamps for artworks. Yes. I'm going to take you through Edinkra printing. Yeah, this is our wisdom from West Africa. And you know a little history about Edinkra. Uh, in West Africa, there are a whole lot of symbols. Generally, in Africa, Africa is a big place, big continent with so many people, so many languages. How do the empires try to get us all together to, to, to be one people? Can you imagine? Yes, in West Africa, we have these symbols called Edinkra symbols, and we use them through out West Africa countries, but in this modern world, we have uh, the tribe of Ashanti. The Ashanti king is able to gather all these symbols, ancient time, bring them together. Uh, Edinkra symbols, I'll tell you, their wisdom, philosophy, and they convey uh, messages to all about all environmental aspects and uh, daily life every day. Uh, it's like Summing up like making a word and you turn it into 2D, into a symbol. Yeah, that will remind you, oh, this is the word somebody just said. And you have it on you. So when you wear, you don a cloth with symbols, people know, oh, this is the message this guy is saying. Maybe you get engaged and I have a symbol with uh, a symbol like this. With the moon and the star, I have it on me. That means, oh. This is a symbol of faithfulness. Engage. The moon and the star are best of friends. So you've got a friend. You don't need to wear a ring. So these symbols tell you what is going on today. Yep. They are symbols of the past, today, and tomorrow. So these are the symbols. So I'm going to show you how we make these symbols. Traditionally, we have a stamp. We carve this stamp from Calabash. This is the stamp. And it comes, this is the calabash, yeah. It's a gold, English call it gold, yeah. But we use it to make instrument, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have smaller ones, big ones, and they are breakable. They are fruit, they grow like the pumpkin. Yes, now you know, it's fruit. And you take off, when it grows green, it grows and become brown, become light, and it's very fragile, so you keep it cool. We use it to make so many things. This is another one. It's a shaker. Yeah, music instrument. Yeah, we love it. This are seeds from the tree, mahogany tree. So many instruments we use the calabash to make. You see? Yeah, this is Mbira. So, to make your own stamp, I've got few stamps. I'm going to show you how to make your own stamps. Yeah, when I came to England and I tried to teach Edinkra symbols, the original stamps are quite fragile for. To, to take it run for people to use because this one we use it through the ink and print the cloth and as an artist you keep your brush safe but to pass it through to other people you need a very strong one you see how fragile they are yes these are the original stamp so when i came to england i like recycle a lot so i said ah how can i make my stamps okay i have children who have grown up and something like this, I think most families and schools have got them. And sometimes you check them in the rubbish dump, in the bin, you don't know what to do with them. These are very good stamps. You carve them nicely, get your uh, grown ups, not for children. Uh, you can draw the Dinkra symbol. You go on our website, you find the symbols, and you draw them, and you have a sharp edge. You cut them out. If you cut them out, you can get something like this. Yeah, make yourself uh, a wooden or something. You get a piece of wood, you cut it. You got to the carpenter or now we have tools everywhere. You can cut yourself a piece of wood. Um, there's so many wood everywhere. You can get some, cut yourself a stump. Then get your glue. Yeah, make sure you get a strong glue. Yeah, like wood glue. And so the stump will not come out if you're washing it, you see. So you cut it from this, draw it nicely and cut it out. 
Yeah, that's the first one, recycle stuff. Uh, you can also use rope, you see, garden rope or pieces of rope. You can collect them and use them to make a stamp like this. You see, you have a stamp, you cut them pieces, you cut them and you get your glue again and put on the wood and you put your rope. So this symbol you just seen here is making the impossibility possible. You see this thing going like that? Uh, in my culture, it's like the snake climbing the tree. And how funny that the snake can climb a tree. The snake can climb a tree. That's impossible. No hands, no legs. How about you? I have everything, you see? So if I have this symbol, it tells a lot. So yeah, you can create so many symbols, yeah? And now, you can also use wire to create symbols and the wire dip it into the ink and print. Yeah, we are going to be using all these symbols. And most important part is, we all use potatoes. We eat them. I wouldn't use potatoes in Africa because we don't grow it. And it's so expensive in Africa. <laughs> so when I came to UK, they're everywhere. So you can carve yourself a very beautiful, yeah, carve a symbol. This is a star. A star in my Edinkras symbols is uh, you are the child or the person of the heavens. Uh, because the stars is there and everybody with their star. They always say child of the skies. So, and easy to make. I will take you through how to make all this, you see. And I have another symbol I've just carved out. You see, it's a beautiful symbol. That's the symbol of the chameleon. And play many parts in life, yeah, many roles, versatile. When chameleon jump on something or crawl, it blends in. It become part of it, yeah. So if you have this symbol, you're trying to tell people, yeah, I'm cool. I can blend in. Yeah, I don't have problem with you guys. Yeah, I can do so. And you are very helpful. So that's the symbol. Okay, now it's time to make our own stamps. Yeah, as I told you before, uh, we need uh, recycle stuff. Yeah, and the recycle stuff, any recycle stuff that you can cut to make your um, stamps, fine. You get this and make sure when you're using sharp edge, be careful health and safety. Uh, you have a grown up there to help you, to take you through. Yeah, and you have to draw the symbol on it beautifully. Yeah, and you cut it. And you have a flat other cardboard or wood like this uh, you can buy some in a or you create some yourself uh, help you can get a help from mommy daddy or teacher to help you yeah and make sure everything you're using is safety first you see you can use the rope you see and to cut the potatoes uh, you need a um, something like a chopping board or something yeah to put it in so like this uh you get your potatoes yeah you have it here so uh you can use plastic knife oh uh, well after having a uh, fish and chips sometimes yeah <laughs> you can get some from the shops they are easy anywhere uh kitchen knife make sure it's the blunt one and make sure uh you're not there alone a grown up is with you. I can chop it out for you, okay? And be careful of your hands so you don't spoil mommy's table or daddy's table. So you get your chopping board like this. Uh huh. And be careful of your fingers. So take your time, like I'm doing. Uh huh. And then you chop it through nicely. That's it. You see, now I've got my. Plain potatoes cut into two. Yep. All these potatoes, after using it, you're not going to discard them into the bin. You still use them, roast them nicely, or cook them. You wash the paint. And every paint we use, we don't use acrylics and oil paint. We use watercolor. Because, as I said, this cloth is made from special ink. I'll talk to you about it later. So, you see, you get your knife. And now let's make our symbol. Let's say we are going to create a um, spider's web. That's a symbol of wisdom because the spider is very clever. You see, 
we have so many stories about the spider in West Africa and the Caribbeans and how he managed to get to the Caribbean and America. Even America, they call him Auntie Nancy. <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, he's so clever. So let's make a web here. So when you're carving, make sure you slant your knife this way. Yeah, see how I'm holding it, my finger? Or you can put it on there, chopping board, and you cut it like this. Maybe you don't have strength to cut deep, so just, yeah. And the bread, uh, the kitchen knife, I always get some greed on it, so you can cut it like a saw. Yeah, simple. So you know that you're not putting pressure to cut yourself. All right? Good. And you go again. The other side, slant it a bit. Then you slant here, like that. Yeah, then you get the unwanted part out. Now you get something like cross. Then we keep going. This time it's going to be easier. You see? Then we turn it the other way. And we keep going. This is very interesting, and you like it to create something for yourself. You are creating a symbol. You see? And you get the web. Ta-da! You get something like this, you see? You can even cut more if you want, you see? But this is very simple and nice. You get a spider web. So we're going to use this to print our cloth. As I told you, we are, after that, we're not going to throw this away, you see? And that's it. And if you want to create another one, you have another one here. Maybe let's say you want to create a square, something square. This is round because spider web is round. So you have to cut here. Remember I told you, you can cut it like you're cutting a saw, so you don't put too much pressure on yourself, uh -huh. like that. See, safety first, right? Yep. Very good. Ah, uh -huh. now, we cut here. We get a square. Very good. Now look at what you've got. Yeah. Very square and beautiful. And now this time, so, so you keep, as I told you, remember, you slant your instrument you're using. Yeah. You can also use a wooden knife because we have, now we have a wooden knives, not plastic. Yeah, we have wooden knives. I'm going to use a wooden fork to do something for you. You see? And you've got this. Ooh. This one, you can use it to make lies. And this lines in the cloth, you see, this line. Sometimes we interpret it. This is a, uh, this is what brings the cloth together. This is a. Sometimes we say these are rules, rules of life. And you see, they cross each other. Uh, sometimes life can be straightforward. Sometimes you cross. Yeah, we cross. We cross each other. So now you have this. We are going to use it too. And now, now you know all the materials. Uh, yeah, this is the rope. And when you're cutting the rope, you see, you get pieces of rope like this. Yeah, these are everywhere. You can buy some if you want. Uh, you get your piece of wood, like this flat. You cut the wood. Make sure a grown up will get it for you. Yes. Then you need glue, like this. Yeah, wood glue, strong glue. And you put the glue on the wood or any surface you think you can use for stamp. Then you put this rope on it like this. Yeah, and you cut it. You know how to use your scissors? We have tiny scissors. You can use that. Okay. Now you have your stamp. You see, this is making the impossibility possible. This is a, it's like a snake climbing the tree. You see, zigzag. This is a snake form. And if snake climb a tree, that's strange, isn't it? So, impossibility to be possible. You take the I am off and everything is possible. Yeah, and you see, as I told you, this is the recycle one. Everybody, some houses, they use them. When the children grow, they throw them away. Never, never throw this away, keep them. This is very good, making stamp. You get your pen, you draw the symbol, Anything you want, a stamp, you cut it out now with your scissors, then you paste it on the background, or you can cut another one and paste it on it so you can hold it. 
as a stamp. You see, you hold it, then you make your stamp. You didn't need to go far. You make a stamp from one tin, just one place. When you dry, you can. Yeah, that's what I use to make all this. These are all stamps, you see. And if you go on the website, you'll find all these stamps, and they all come with sweet, sweet meanings. And you like, you can make your own symbol and create your own idea. You understand? Okay, now it's time to print the cloth. 